Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews episode 65 about the upcoming launches of the Russian Soyuz and Ariane Space's Vega rocket. Soyuz will this time carry the upgraded Progress MS spacecraft for the fourth time. In its cargo trunk are mostly supplies like food, air but also some hardware and propellant. I can't really find a source what it will carry exactly so feel free to let me know if you know more. Unlike Soyuz, the Vega rocket consists of mostly solid propellant stages like a firework with a liquid fueled fourth upper stage. In its 8 launch Vega will carry the Göktürk-1 satellite for Turkey. The first to launch is Soyuz on December 1st from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. But before the rocket can take off the launch site has to rotate inside the ISS orbital plane which will happen at around 15 UTC so the launch is a little in advance of it at 14.52. The launcher will head eastwards over land as usual to catch up with the space station. Something I will never get tired of seeing is the so called Korolev Cross, the boosters form after separation. Russia has a great launch coverage and I can highly recommend to see the launch live. You can find the link to that in the description. A few days later on December 5th, Vega will be ready to launch from the Guiana Space Center in South America. Being close to the equator makes launching rockets really efficient if their destination is a geosynchronous transfer orbit. However, as usual Vega will head towards the North Pole to achieve a Sun synchronous orbit. This means the Earth's rotation does not really help to reach it and Vega has to instead entirely rely on its own capabilities. The payload Göktürk-1 is Turkey's very first Earth observing satellite and actually caused some controversy in the past. Some components of its high resolution camera are built in Israel and these are not really friends with Turkey at the moment and fear to be spied on. However, there are already plenty of satellites in orbit which do observe the Earth and the imagery is available to everyone. As an example here is an image of ESA Sentinel satellite. The image shows the Sea of Galilee from south to north in Israel. It was shot last week and is updated once in 10 days I think. To achieve a very sharp image of the ground such satellites need very good optics. In the case of Göktürk 1 a mirror was made by Zeiss in Germany. Such a mirror reflects the light incoming from the earth to the image sensor inside the craft. The key now is a very smooth surface down to an atomic scale. As you can probably imagine the more bumpy the surface is the softer or less sharp an image gets. So simply polishing such a mirror surface with regular sandpaper is not quite enough so every company has their own top secret methods. Once Vega's upper stage arrives at the highest point in its orbit, the apoapsis, it will do a second burn to circularize it and release Göktürk 1 in its sun synchronous 700 km high trajectory around Earth. After the main mission is finished, the upper stage will coast for almost an hour to then do a third and last burn, lasting a minute to re-enter and burn up in the atmosphere. But back to progress MSO4. It will have meanwhile reached the station autonomously after approximately 2 days and docked to the Swesta module. It will then stay attached until the crew has emptied it. Now in the end a little shout out to my patrons who support my monthly crowdfunding campaign. Thanks a lot and if you want to contribute as well simply follow the link in the description. Just by the way December is packed with launches as far as I can tell so you can expect a lot of videos in the upcoming weeks. Ok. That shall conclude episode 65 and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.